<sighs> oh man. Oh, it's early. All right, got the coffee. Let's go. Well, boys, today we are out here at my brand new property. I'm not quite sure what to name it just yet, but uh, basically this is a uh, $10 million kind of private acreage. Now, as you can see here, we got this big shop. Now, what are we going to do with this big shop, you ask? Well, I got some ideas. Just look at this huge shop, no vehicles in it. I think we need to fix that. Milwaukee, of course, only the best. But today we're going to hop in the truck and take a trip out to a very, very cool place where they make some of the coolest trucks ever. And we're going to go truck shopping. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton, and I appreciate it so much. Also, while you're down there, if you're not subscribed yet, it really helps the channel out a lot, and I can keep making videos like this. Look at the amount of lights we've got on this truck, though. I, I couldn't even count them if I tried. There, there's way too many. Well, here we are. Probably one of the coolest places ever. It doesn't look very cool, but the vehicles outside do. This is Frank's custom trucks, and uh, basically, he builds and buys the coolest trucks out there. Unfortunately, he doesn't have anywhere to park, so we're just going to have to park in the Casey's parking lot. Pick some Casey's up while we're in there, too. Oh, man, I've been waiting to come here for a while. But uh, Frank over here, he has some uh, pretty cool builds that he's done in the past uh, little while here, and he told me I could buy any one of these trucks sitting out here and i could take any one of them for a test drive so i think we're gonna do just that wait a second oh the come and swap jeep oh man i think I, I i can't leave without this i don't think i can physically leave without a come and swap jeep oh he even left the keys right in it oh what a nice guy oh yeah come and swap jeep it don't get much better than that well i think there's a lot of trucks that are better than this but regardless this is so dang cool Oh, we're just gonna take this thing for a little bit of a test drive. It's not much of a curb, but oh yeah, look at that. Rolls cold too. Oh, this is this is too perfect. Frank had to put all the good stuff out on the lot today because uh, he knew I was I was not gonna leave without this. But uh, there's quite a few more trucks to be looked at and test driven here. But with that being said, we're just gonna yeah we're just gonna stick this bad boy right on up here. Oh, but you know what, Frank? I'm just gonna. Yep, just got to take this one home. What do we have here? Platinum Power Stroke. I think it's an F350. Ooh, King Forged. Actually, I've never heard of this brand. King Forged? Anyone Anyone know what that... I, I've never heard of that brand in my life. Specialty Forged. Yeah, I've heard of them. Hostile. Yep, heard of them. Okay, no, Specialty Forged. In the, okay, I think Frank has a problem with uh, Specialty Forged and uh, American Forced Rims. Like, seriously, he's got them on just about everything. Yeah, seriously, he, he has got an issue. I got to talk to that guy. Would it kill you to get some fuels on some trucks once in a while, man? I mean, Frank really likes to go all out here. He uh, He's the kind of guy that don't waste no money on a bill. The blacked out GMC, though. With the red accents. Oh, oh, it's even got power steps. Okay, I at least got to take this thing for a test drive. But when we get back to the ranch there, or the acreage, I guess, we got some uh, surprises in store for these things. We, we got a few little plans that I think you guys are going to like. But the leather interior rolls coal. It's up high. I mean, all the things you want on a truck, it, this thing has got them. It don't get much better than this. Frank, I'm going to try do some uh, donuts with your truck here. Oh, it's not going very well. Okay, maybe it can't do donuts. Woo, she's got some get up and go. Frank, put that big tune in there. Frank, I'm telling you, man, you really got to get some any levels in here. I We've been missing an any level. That's that's the one thing that I, I was really hoping to have here today. I think you might have one in the works, though. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Is this what I think it is? If I hit that switch, yeah. Chevy on bags. Flatbed 2. Oh, okay. I'm I may need to take this home. I I don't know if I can I don't know if I can go home without this. I need something that's not a semi to uh, haul some stuff and this truck's on bags and it's got a flatbed. Oh man. Man, Frank, why you got to do this to me? You know I already knew. Already knew. He's even got a chain on the back. Okay, this is this is too cool. What? Uh, I don't know what kind of uh, little electronic stuff he's going on in there, but <laughs> it's interesting. Don't mind me, Frank. Just going to stick this thing right on up here. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I should actually get in line with the ramp so I don't wreck this thing. I haven't even officially bought it yet. At this rate, we're going to need some more trailer space because uh, we, we don't got much left. Wait a minute. This gives me an idea. Look, don't ask me how I did it. It, I just, I made it happen. Look, if you need more room on a trailer, you make it happen. That hitch is dangerously close to uh, wrecking my nice flatbed. Better watch yourself, Jeep. All right, how much more money can I spend today? Uh, what else is there left that I, I absolutely cannot leave here without? Look, Frank's got a lot of GMCs here. I think we might be able to come back for one of those, but I don't think my shop will be totally complete without a Ford. It, it, it's just, it's got to happen. 
You can't leave it. I haven't even taken this thing for a test drive yet. I don't even know what it drives like, but if it's coming from Frank, I trust it. Hold on. What's this switch do? Oh, rock lights. Yeah. Okay, please tell me this one's gonna fit on here because this is a big old truck. I don't know if it's gonna fit. Oh, it might. It might just, yeah, we might be able to squeeze it on there. Oh yeah, we made it happen. It's all on there. We're good. Yeah, Frank, just put that one on my tab. Also, you might want to deliver a couple GMCs out later today. I, I could use some more trucks. Man, such a good guy. Well, now that we got hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of vehicles here, I think it's safe to say that we can head on back and have some fun. Man, makes me feel like I'm going to SEMA all over again. By the way, if you guys want to see another Farm Sim SEMA show, and I don't know, about eight to nine months, whenever the next SEMA is, let me know in the comments. You know, this may have been one thing that I might have forgot to count for can we get in here dadgum irrigator the farmer moved it back i mean he's got to irrigate his uh field there but it's a little bit challenging for me to pull into my own driveway maybe i should get him just to scooch it back just a little bit oh we might be able to clear it Whew. inches to spare but we got it okay time to figure out where i'm gonna put all this junk well i shouldn't say junk all these awesome vehicles that i'm i'm definitely gonna be using actually before we put them away i got some ideas also, Frank, I gave him a call. He's uh, delivering a few more vehicles out here for us. Couldn't fit them all in this trailer, so. You know, I should have just got him to deliver them all out to begin with, but this works. Oh, man, the power stroke matches the red of my building. Almost like I planned that one out. Actually, I legitimately did not plan that one out. <laughs> that is just completely coincidental. Looks pretty dang good, though. Also, you guys may have noticed these big rock formations uh, in the front of my driveway here. I've got some ideas, but th those will wait till a little bit later. Hold on. So I've got bags on my truck here, and the Jeep is strapped to my flatbed. What if I just, uh, is that gonna, is that gonna work? Oh, oh. <laughs> I think. I think it's working. It shouldn't be work. It shouldn't be working in the slice, but it, it is. There, this is the way to transport a Jeep. <laughs> oh, this is what I should have done all along. Screw the big semi and trailer. No, this is how we're transporting our Jeep from now on. <laughs> out of the way, dear. I can't stop. I got a big Jeep behind me. Move. Okay, he's good. He's out of the way. So I got this big old pond right here. And you know, it hasn't filled up with water uh, just yet. Only deer. They seem to be just chilling in my pond. But I figured... Oh, you know what? Hold on. Auto lowering system here. I figured in the meantime, we could probably play around with some of the new toys in here. Yeah. It's like one of them NASCAR tracks. You know, you just keep going around, except this one's a little more rough. The Jeep don't really like it. It's not built for off-road. It's a pavement princess, strictly. Yeah, let's get it out of here before I, I wreck my... $20,000 American Force rims. Yeah, this, that's not a good situation. Can't be scratching them things up. They're too nice. Well, Frank just dropped off a piece of equipment for me that I've been looking forward to for a little bit. That being a snowcat. And with a wood chipper on the back in case I need to do any work around here. But he said he also left me a second gift, which I'm a little bit confused, but... He said whatever it was, I could do whatever I wanted with it. And I'm not sure where it is. Is that... Oh, it is. It is indeed squatted. So what if I... Okay, well, now that that problem's taken care of, I can finally have some fun with my trucks in peace. And now that I have a snowcat, well, I can have even more fun. That fun being simply just doing donuts. It, 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 this never gets old. I, I promise you, it never gets old. So I gotta figure out what else to fill my shop up with. I mean, I got a snowcat here. We got a couple trucks that are probably gonna go in here. I've also got a garage back by my house there. Gotta fill that up with some stuff too. But if you guys do have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be putting some more stuff in here. But uh, for now, I gotta go grab some explosives and deal with that abomination out there. Hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe and goodbye.